Hi guys, Steph here. Yes, look at that. After yesterday's video, yet another Conklin Fountain Pen. As you can see, this one comes in the original outer case. And there you go, look at that. There's the modelling. Modelling? <laughs> the model, it's a Conklin Mark Twain. So let's take it out of the outer case. Let's pop that to one side. Comes in this lovely sort of leatherette case. Very nice indeed. And if we open it up, there we go. There's the pen in question. To the back, it's got Conklin. So if we just take the pen out there. Um, I'm not sure if this actually lifts up. Oh yes, it lifts up. Oh, there we go. We've got the instructions underneath there for you. So let's pop that back into place. And let's have a look at the pen. Look at this. Interesting pen indeed. Okay, now I've actually seen these online and I've always thought, hmm, rather different, interesting pens. What have we got for you? What we've got for you, as it says on the box, we've got a Conklin Mark Twain Crescent Filler Fountain Pen. And this colour, I believe the term as Vintage Blue. The same model, I believe they made in a black with gold, gold trim. Um, I believe they also made a limited edition demonstrator of this particular model and along with this vintage blue they also made a vintage green fountain pen um, as we said in a previous video the conklin is a well an american pen manufacturer from the beginning of sort of like 1898 um i think that's when they begin, began making their fountain pens. And in fact, in this particular case, I think uh, Mr. Twain, Mr. Mark Twain, was so impressed, he, I think he became the official, official spokesman for, for the Conklin Pen Company. Hence the name of this model being the Mark Twain. The size of the pen, from the top of the cap to the bottom, is 141 millimeters capped around the barrel it's a nice 13 millimeters in diameter we'll come to the crescent fill at the moment uh if we look at the the cap band there quite a large cap band it's got the word conklin to the front and then to the back it's got the signature or the autograph, if you like, of Mark Twain. Okay, now let's go up to the clip there. You can see this rather unusual clip with the word Conklin. Now the nice thing about this clip, if we press down here, look at that. I find that quite interesting and I think a very nice touch. Now, I believe this spring clip here was patented um, around about 1916. So, once again, the crescent filler, uh, or this pen, the crescent filler, was based on a vintage, vintage model. Which, once again, I would like to get my hand on one, but they are very difficult to find. So, if we look at the crescent filler there... You can see it's got the word Conklin to one side. And then if we reverse it here, uh, there we go. You'll see it says Crescent Filler Trade Mark. Okay, so it was their sort of trademark filling system. So how does a Crescent Filler work? Well, you'll see this sort of band around the pen underneath the crescent filler and if we find it for you there you go you can see it's got this sort of slight recess on this sort of band if you like and what we actually do is turn that 
so it aligns with the crescent filler there and at this point there we go isn't that lovely okay and then once the pen's full you would turn this band to one side and then there you go the crescent filler is sort of locked locked into place and saves you sort of spilling any ink so a very nice interesting pen as i say comes in this lovely sort of vintage blue color now this particular pen although the previous one i found on my recent sort of travels this pen was kindly gifted to me by the name well by a lady of the name tara so if you're watching tara thanks very much a lovely interesting pen indeed so let's unscrew the cap for you let's show you the pen in sort of numerous different angles okay now although this is a modern pen <laughs> i actually sort of quite like it i, I mean I, I don't know what it is about it whether it's whether it's the crescent filler whether it you know i mean the color is very nice indeed but for some strange reason for a modern pen yeah i quite like it now if we go up to the section you can see the section slightly concaved comes in the same sort of material and colour of the rest of the pen and then if we take you up to the nib there you can see it's got a Conklin Toledo USA steel nib and then just to the shoulder to the right hopefully you can see EF which indicates that it's an extra fine nib so there's a there's a sideways view and as with the previous Conklin that we showed you it's got the same feed underneath so it must be a feed that Conklin use for their modern modern pens very nice indeed okay so it's a lovely sized pen it's quite a chunky pen as well um, I mean personally I do like sort of large oversized pens whether whether that's what's I don't know I, I just can't put my put my finger on what actually I like about the pen I, I like it quite a lot to be honest with you but it goes against my well you know my sort of feelings towards vintage pens so I can't quite put my finger what it is but yes I quite like this pen another nice touch for this pen being a modern pen with it having a crescent filler if we unscrew the section from the barrel look at that okay slightly wonky conky but it's got a sack inside the pen so for a modern pen we've got the old-fashioned sort of rubber sack inside the pen which yeah is you know one of the other things that sort of a, I like about the pen because I've never seen I'm sure there is lots out there but I've not seen a pen a modern pen with sort of an original old sack in the pen which I quite like because of my liking for vintage pens now once again the pen has never been used so what we'll do in this case i'm going to do a dip test so i'm going to dip the pen in the ink and let's see how it writes so what we've got is a a conklin mark mark twain in in vintage 
vintage blue. This one, a date, well, I don't know. It's Is it still available? I'm going to date it, so around about 2000. I may be wrong. Um, please tell me if you know. But Writing nicely. There's no flex to the nib, which I don't expect for a steel nib. Okay. And as it says there, it's writing with a fine, well, not a fine, but an extra, extra fine, extra fine nib. So there we go. So as it says on the nib, EF, writing with an extra fine nib, writing nicely, you know, what you'd expect from a, from a steel nib. So there we have it. Let's put that to one side. Let's just give that nib a little bit of a wipe. We'll clean, clean the nib after the video. And there we have it. So look at that. Yesterday we showed you a Conklin Jorograph. <laughs> Today we've got for you a lovely Conklin Mark Twain in this lovely vintage blue colour. Maybe it's the blue that I like. As I said, I can't put my finger on it. This, to be quite honest with you, there's a couple of features that I like on the pen. I like the clip. I like the fact that it's got the sack inside. I quite like this sort of, yeah, an interesting filling system. And of course, the colour. It's a lovely, lovely material, a lovely colour. And the fact also, it's quite a large pen. So there we have it. The Conklin Mark Twain fountain pen, a crescent filler. I hope you've enjoyed looking at the pen as much as I enjoy showing them to you people. Don't forget, down below, leave a comment. Don't forget to subscribe as well. Just down there to the right. Give the video a big thumbs up if you will. But for now, I'm just going to say Slavo Krijini from me and this lovely pen. I'm just going to say bye-bye for now.